Well, welcome back to uh, this week's vlog. Uh, tonight I decided to come down to my hometown of Ramsgate uh, to try and capture a sunset. Uh, traditionally, uh, Ramsgate's not really a sunset location. Uh, the sun will set um, on the wrong side really. It's a, it's a bit of a sunrise location. But uh, the plan is to make my way down to Ramsgate Harbour and walk out along the harbour arm and uh, hopefully try and capture the sun setting um, looking back across the harbour back into town and capture the sunset that way the only thing is you've got to bear in mind is obviously the uh, the sun is going to disappear behind Ramsgate itself earlier than the uh, than the predicted sunset time so you've got to get there in plenty of time really I think we've got um, just under an hour now till official sunset but the sun is not uh, too far from disappearing behind the building so I need to go and find a composition. I'm now just making my way along the, uh, the harbour wall, uh, hope to get out towards the end of the, the harbour wall and uh, shoot back across the harbour back into town and hopefully catch some, uh, catch some nice light if we get some, uh, some decent colour in tonight's sunset. Oh, typically I come down to the end of the uh, harbour arm and I have never seen so many cars on the end of the harbour arm here as there is tonight. I'm assuming that uh, they're all up in the, uh, the Royal Harbour Brassier, the cafe at the end of the, the harbour, but uh, there's quite a few cars here. So I'm trying to find somewhere to set up a tripod and get a composition. Maybe a little tricky. Well, as you can see now the sun is just dipping down behind uh, Ramsgate in the background there. I'm looking at this composition where you've got uh, the other side of the, uh, the harbour arm with the um, the white marker as an entry for the port of Ramsgate and these two uh, rusty old uh, things that you tie up vessels to I suppose. I might use them in the composition if I can get set up and set down quite low to the ground, include them in the composition. Uh, get the, the other harbour arm with the, the, the lighthouse at the end of it and then part of the harbour and maybe we'll try and see if we can get some colour in the sky, it'll be nice but uh, I'm just going to get set up and see what it looks like. Well I've actually managed to uh, set the shot up now and uh, what I've done is because of the dynamic range there's still quite a, a bright area in the sky and the foreground is um, quite heavily in shadow so I've actually taken the correct exposure and then I've bracketed for one stop either side so I've underexposed by one stop 
and overexposed by one stop and I'll, uh, I may have to merge the images together and uh, produce a single file with, with three images. On the other hand, I may be able to use one of them files and pull everything I need out of it, but uh, while you're here and on a tripod, it's, it's better to cover all the bases and uh, get what you need. Oh, what I've done now is more or less again the same composition but I've dropped in the uh, Lee Little Stopper a six stop ND filter it's given me an exposure time of uh, at 10 seconds at ISO 100 at an aperture of f11 and I'll put that up on the screen for you now well you can see that the longer exposure time here is actually smoothed out the water which I think makes for a much more pleasing image let me know what you think in the comments below Well, that's uh, not working out quite as well as I'd hoped. The light's not um, really playing ball at the moment. So I think before I lose all the light, I'm gonna have a walk back along the harbour arm back towards uh, the seafront itself. See if we can find a few compositions as the sun sets and uh, some of the lights come on and maybe even try and catch a few uh, light trails from cars and things like that. But we'll have a go. I was just on the way back along the harbour arm and I uh, stopped and looked back and found a composition which I quite like um, and it's actually looking back here towards the, um, the cafeteria at the end of the harbour arm and I'm using the actual wall itself as a leading line. So for this I uh, put it on a tripod and put it into portrait orientation. I think that worked best for this particular image. Still at ISO 100, I'm still shooting at um, f11 and it gave me an exposure of 0.6 seconds and that's with no filters at all. That's quite a, a well balanced exposure and uh, I'll put it up on the screen for you now. Just down here now by uh, Weatherspoons in Ramsgate. Uh, Weatherspoons opened up a couple of years ago now at uh, the old Peggy Sue's and uh, Casino site. Uh, and I believe it's now uh, the biggest Weatherspoons in the country. I think it's doing quite well. I thought that was quite ironic. I've uh, come along the top here by uh, all these restaurants here in Ramsgate along the, uh, the harbour and as I'm walking along the music that's playing in the background is Hank Marvin. I hope they haven't had to wait that long that they are all Hank Marvin. Well we managed uh, a couple of light trails there. I think we uh, Set with an exposure of about eight seconds, I think it was. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to turn out like, but I'll put one up on the screen for you now. I'm losing the light now, so uh, I'm going to make my way back to the car. Thanks very much for watching. Bit of a short vlog today. It was uh, a bit unplanned, and uh, again, sunset didn't play ball, even though we were in a completely wrong place for sunset, really. But I wanted to get out. Um, got any questions? Anything you'd like to ask, then please feel free to do so. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you again when I get out again soon. Thanks, then.